looky here. It gets even bigger and bigger and bigger until you could see that what we have here is a uterus that has been cut longitudinally. And here is the endocervix along here. And perhaps the fundus would be above our field of view, but the lower endocervix extending to the vagina uh, is this large tumor which has whiter areas, perhaps representing more fibrous tissue, as well as more irregular hemorrhagic areas, yellowish, perhaps representing necrosis and hemorrhage within this tumor. This is a large infiltrating squamous cell carcinoma of the cervix. And you know that because when you go to a section through the large tumor, you can see all of these blue areas here are infiltrating nests of squamous cells. And let's zoom on this very, very quickly. Notice they don't look too much like squamous cells at all, do they? We might have a very hard time finding uh, intracellular bridges and therefore you would call this a poorly differentiated squamous cell carcinoma. Also notice that it lies uh, right next to some areas of endocervical glands, which are perfectly normal as well. And also notice that in some of these nests of tumor, there is necrosis, but you can see they very, very, very irregularly infiltrate haphazardly. Here's a necrotic, uh, centrally necrotic nest of tumor cells. And if you look very carefully here, and especially here, these little ladders in the bridge in that space represent intracellular bridges. And actually, I think I might have a better view than you. I could even see some here and here. So you know this is squamous cell. You know it doesn't look very squamous at all, so you would not call it well differentiated, maybe moderate or poor. Notice how it very irregularly haphazardly infiltrate through this uh, fibrous connective tissue here because these are all fibroblasts and collagen, uh, isn't it? Notice how it is uh, next to some normal looking uh, endocervical glands. And notice that, oh, here's some more normal glands, normal glands, tumor, 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 normal glands, normal glands. Notice it's not an adenocarcinoma, notice it's squamous. And I believe that when you go to this area, you might perhaps be closer to the surface or what was left of the surface. You know, it was one big tumor now. And up here, you could see perhaps this might represent some of the surface areas. This is a classical, uh, widely infiltrating, uh, possibly even higher stage squamous cell carcinoma of the cervix. And it's our very last cervix case. And I'm very glad for that. Thank you very much.